I'm NBC 5's Jennifer Elliott. It's time to take a look at your local forecast. First off, we do need to note that there is a red flag warning in effect for the coastline and also for Josephine County and Siskiyou County tonight. That's going to be lasting until 9 p.m. So beware of the strong winds, high temperatures and low humidity that we do have out there right now. We do have a thermal trough in place and you can see all the activity really just pushing off to the east and then also to our north. We're not going to be seeing any action from this bad boy until we get into about next Thursday and Friday. So we've got a long lull in the next several days. We are going to see some ridging on Wednesday, but other than that, we're keeping things just pretty much status quo. You can use yesterday as a guide. We're going to see warm temperatures, clear skies. It's going to be nice and it's just going to continue to be that way for the next little bit. If we take a look at the coastline for our lows though tonight, we are going to be talking about 50s and a low 60 in Brookings thanks to that Chetco effect, keeping things a little warmer. We are going to see an increase in cloud cover though around North Bend as a marine push moves on shore overnight and then that should start to dissipate during the day to partly cloudy skies for the northern coast. Highs though in the 60s, but check out Brookings up to 81 thanks to that Chetco effect. Now along the I-5 lows tonight in the 50s, 55 for Roseburg and Wairika and then tomorrow we're going to keep things warm, a little bit toast in fact, up into even those low 90s, 93 in Wairika, 89 for Medford, so just flirting with the 90s there in Medford. And we are going to be seeing a warm day, but not the warmest day so far of the year. We've already had that. East of the Cascades, lows in the 30s and 40s tonight, 45 for Klamath Falls, 47 in Lakeview. And then as for our highs, we'll see temperatures in the 60s, 70s, and even those 80s, 85 for Klamath Falls, 88 in Alturas. A brief look at the seven-day Really, what is there to talk about? It's going to be warm and sunny over the next several days. Now, on Thursday and Friday, as mentioned before, we do have this system to the north. It's in the Gulf of Alaska right now. We're going to see it dip on down into Washington. As it does so, it's going to affect northern Oregon. It may just brush us a bit, and with it, we'll see an increase in cloud cover come Thursday and Friday, and then we're going to start seeing that cloud cover move on out of the area. Mainly, we may see some showers for the coastline, but other than that, it's really just going to remain the same. We cool things down just a tad for Thursday and Friday. There is weak ridging that will build in on Wednesday, but again, very status quo. It's still going to be warmer as we get into tomorrow tomorrow and Monday. So be aware of that Checo though along the coast and also be aware of that red flag warning and keep checking back for updates.